Hey, welcome back to JB Barbell, another episode. And today's episode, I wanna cover what it costs. Now, I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this because it's gonna vary from person to person. The first thing you need to probably decide on your foundation for opening a gym will be where that is. Now, obviously, place to place, different markets, you're gonna have to understand if you haven't chosen a place, roughly at least what you're looking at or where you want a budget to be, okay? Most of the work when it comes to opening a gym is gonna be in things like marketing, selling yourself, building your community, the things that it's gonna to take to succeed. So I've broken down for about three months of um, upfront costs, the things that you're gonna to need to pay for one time, things like your equipment, now you might add more equipment as you go, but pretty much get your equipment in the door, your affiliate fee, et cetera. Let's start with rent. So say your rent's going to be $2,000, you're gonna need your $2,000 for rent. You're gonna need that for three months. Now, everything I'm putting up on the board here, very conservative. The more you can have, great, better off, your chances are for success. So $2,000 times three is gonna be $6,000. You're also gonna need first, last, and security. Uh, there's some other fees they, they lump in that, but usually that tends to be about the same cost um, as your rent for each one, roughly. So we're gonna put that about $6,000 off sale. So now we're at 12. Your rent is a fixed cost. Your first, last, and security is a one-time cost. Okay, your equipment, roughly, is a one-time cost. You're gonna have to fix things as you go along, potentially replacing items or adding, but ultimately it's a one-time upfront cost. You're not really gonna to need to worry about that month to month. Now you can budget put uh, money aside to get more equipment, awesome. Utilities, this is also, this is a cost that's gonna vary. It's not a fixed cost in the sense that um, it's not gonna be $100 a month every month. It might, you might use more of uh, electricity, you might stay open late one day. So it might vary roughly. But let's say it's about $100 a month, depending on the size of the place and what you're using and how long you're there. So that'd be $300 for the three months. Internet and website, I kind of lumped in together. So I put that in about $100 a piece a month. Now that's gonna vary. Your website's probably gonna cost more than your internet. But that's still gonna work out to roughly about $200 a month that you're spending on those two things. So that puts us at $600 for three. This is a fixed cost, typically. Um, your internet bill every month is gonna be the same, depending on your provider and other uh, little details like that. Marketing, this is a big one. This is one thing that you are gonna to wanna to spend what you can on, because there's an investment. What you put in, you're gonna get out. You're gonna get more out when you have something more focused um, for what it is that you either specialize in or gear towards people that want your service. So how much of a return you get on that isn't so much the more money you put in, the more you get back. Yes, that works to an extent, because obviously you're reaching more people, um, but you're gonna to wanna to fine tune that. So I put $500 a month on that. So $1,500 for the three months. Also, depending on who you go with, are you doing Facebook ads? Or you have a company like, uh, for example, Yelp, which I've used in the past. Um, not saying for you to go with any of these particular things, that's for another conversation, but um, my Yelp was more of a fixed cost. My Facebook was varies because it depends on how many clicks you get and how successful your ads are. And so on. Or unless you cap it and then you, maybe you don't hit $500 that month, maybe you do. So that's variable. Insurance, I put $50 a month because starting at the bottom, like maybe you only have like 10 people um, to start with. Um, so under $50, I put fixed and varies because it's gonna be a fixed cost per month, but as you get more people, it's gonna vary. So as you grow, you gotta insure more and more people. And it also depends on the company you go with. Affiliate fee, if you're looking to do a CrossFit gym and you don't have to do a CrossFit gym straight away, I definitely did not. $3,000 a year, so it covers your whole year. These basics, and I'm not even talking about staff, now also includes maybe cleaning staff unless you're doing that. These are things you maybe wanna add on in the future. Also, that's gonna vary, you know, how much um, you're paying them, how many hours they're gonna be working, etc. That's gonna to come to so it's roughly here for three months, $19,250. Now you have a number to work with. You have something to create a business plan. You know where you need to start and 
when you're gonna get there, and that you'll, you're safe for three months roughly. There might be other costs when opening one that you might not think about, painting the gym, desks, chairs, little things like that. But again, there's too many various variables right there, so this is your basics. And this is really all I wanna to touch, touch on it. Minus all your first time or one time fees, now you're at $3,100 to maintain that each and every month. Say you're charging everyone $100 a head, kind of low if you ask me, but let's say it's $100 a head or you have higher prices and lower prices and it averages about 30, uh, excuse me, $100 a head. Now you need 31 people to maintain that gym, run it successfully, continue to advertise, provide the classes that you're talking about, 31 people. Now you can start to build your community. Now you can start to work towards that many people. Um, and again, that's gonna go into your plan, your business plan. Anything over 31, that's money in your pocket, that's profit. It's also profit that I would probably look at putting back in, especially if you're already making that month one and you've got three months ahead, that can be your cushion. Let's double that number. Now you have 62 people because you've invested so much money in marketing, et cetera. Now you're gonna be making 3,100 a month, which is a reasonable amount of money, depending on what your goal is. Um, and it's gonna double, every time you, you know, create that number, your money's gonna go up, or if increase your prices, and so on. That's really all I wanna touch on right now for this one. Um, I'm gonna break down each of these and go into a little bit more detail. That's all you really need to know when it comes to opening a gym. These are the basics. There's plenty I could have made or may have missed, but this is gonna, gonna give you an idea. Okay, can I even afford it? Or how far out am I gonna be before I can afford it? Um, three months is safe, still very conservative. You probably wanna plan for more if possible. Everyone's different. Again, I started my gym, garage gym, and before I opened up my own place. I wish you all best of luck. If you have any questions or anything you want me to touch on in particular, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, help you with that. Um, and always, stay strong.